What's going on? My name is Brian and this is Is It Good? And we are going to be, re and I'm going to be reviewing the game Doom, which is available right now on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and on Steam. So, this game, well you can already tell, it's, it's just a beautiful, uh, beautiful game. And, uh, Doom has been one of those franchises that I grew up playing on PC, uh, probably most gamers around my age, if you're in your 30s, or maybe even in your late 20s, on up, you remember playing this game on the PC, and this is the fourth iteration of Doom, and let me just tell you right now, forget everything you know about Doom, uh, especially from Doom 3, this goes right back to Doom's roots, being a very fast-paced game, lots of quick movement, quick uh, aiming movement, things like that. Yes, you do go back to hell in this game also, which is amazing as well, and a very awesome experience for this game. Um, as you can see there, there's some new mechanics. Uh, what that is is called a glory kill. Basically, when you shoot an enemy, uh, they'll kind of light up like blue or orange, and you can walk up to them and you can click the uh, right stick, uh, at least on Xbox One anyway, and you can perform what's called a, a, uh, a glory kill, or I'd kind of call them a finisher, a finishing move. There are different ways to perform these moves depending on what angle or what position you are on the enemy. So you can kind of crouch down and you can sweep somebody's leg and bust, curb stomp them in the face. Or if you're behind an enemy, you can kind of grab their uh, bottom the jaw and rip it right off. So lots of amazingly awesome finishing uh, finishes here. Uh, you can kind of see a quick glance at the new map, the way that looks as well. So. I will say this, with Doom 3, honestly, I wasn't impressed. Doom 3 was very heavily story-driven, lots of cutscenes, lots of slow movement, dark areas, not a lot of enemies coming at you at once, whereas this Doom game is the exact opposite of that and takes, takes Doom back to its roots. Uh, You'll notice some of the old shield power-ups kind of look the same, things like that. Uh, it, saw, it did a fantastic job with this game, developing this game. Uh, this game is also published by Bethesda Softworks as well, uh, which they also did the Wolfenstein, the New Blood game, which also an incredible, uh, incredible Wolfenstein game. However, I like out of the old, out of the old uh, big three PC games that were developed by id software i would have to say that doom so far being the ones that are being remade this version of doom by far has been the best out of all the remakes or, re or whatever or new iterations or whatever of those old franchises i'm really hoping that we finally get because it's been far too long a brand new quake game um i really hope we get a new quake i was a big big quake player uh, especially Quake 3 Arena on the Dreamcast, uh, for those who remember that, uh, was really one of my first ventures into the, uh, my first four ventures into the, uh, realm of a first-person shooter and online multiplayer, uh, which is now popular in games like Call of Duty and things like, and Battlefield and things like that. What I love about the multiplayer on this game is it has that same fast-paced multiplayer, uh, aspect to it just like the single player version did of old Doom and of course this one as well. Also what you're seeing here is upgrades. You have these little robots, uh, these robot slash drones that are out there and they allow you to upgrade or choose an upgrade for your weapons. Uh, Super Shotgun is back, the Chainsaw is back, which is freaking amazing. And you guessed it, the BFG is also in this game as well. The big freaking gun is also in this game as well. So. A lot of old fan favorites you're going to find in the game. Uh, story is really simple. I mean, it's kind of what you expect from Doom. You basically are playing as the Doom Slayer, the, the, the Doom Guy, or whatever the, heck he's, or whatever the heck he's called. You play as him. Um, stuff goes down on the, on your ship, and you end up, uh, you know, being stranded on Mars, and all these demons come from hell, and, you, you know, you kind of guess it. It's your typical Doom story. There are bosses in this game, but the bosses don't come until you get into the end, end game. The game itself is quite long, about 10 to 12 hours to complete. Um, 
Just when you think the game is coming to an end, it actually surprises you. There's way more content than what you would expect. Uh, this is going to showcase some of the pause menu stuff here. Uh, it's going to show you, like, here's your 3D map, which is really cool, very detailed. Uh, if you get some unlocks later in the game, uh, you can get some unlocks that will show you where some of the secrets are. And, yeah, there are secrets, too. Remember back in the old Doom when you had secrets and, like, hidden stuff you could find in the game, collectibles? Those have returned. Also, you have certain things, uh, uh, points you can get for weapon upgrades and things like that. There are also challenges you can do, which will get you, which will earn you weapon upgrades. You can also get upgrades for your Praetor uh, suit as well, which is the suit that you wear, um, by uh, finding these little uh, upgrade chips off of some dead bodies uh, on the field, which you see right there, the Praetor suit. You can get some upgrades, which allow you to do things like uh, find secrets easier, uh, not take as much uh, splash damage from explosive barrels and things like that. So honestly, this game, I just, I nerded out so hard on this game when I played it. I just could not get over how incredibly fun this is. If I had to give this a score, if I had to give a score, I would absolutely give this, I would say I have to give this 10 out of 10. This is an amazing game. You'll have so much fun. You see there, there's some runes as well, which you'll do some challenges for. You unlock runes, which I'll also give you special things as well. There's just so much in this game. There's also a difficulty called Ultra Nightmare difficulty, and if you die, that's it. Permadeath. It's over. You die, that's it. You don't continue. You can be playing for 10 hours straight, and you're dead. You get no saves, no nothing. That's it. So for those of you out there who really enjoy hard, hard games like uh, Dark Souls, things like that, it has difficulties for you as well that will help fill that need in your gaming life. I am telling you right now, go out and buy this game. It is such an amazing game. I'm glad I had the opportunity to check it out. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Is this game good? Absolutely. And uh, thank you for subscribing, for taking the time to watch. And until next time, see ya!